Hey guys, this is Fred with USA Measurements here in Las Vegas, Nevada. And today we're back with another quick video and demonstration on our USWIM in motion axle scale. We call it the Speedway. And today we're gonna weigh this Chevy Tahoe. Now we did a quick Google search to see how much this truck weighs. It's about 5,500 pounds and it does vary because we're gonna have a driver in the vehicle driving straight across the scale without stopping. So let's set it up and see what we're doing today. All right, so I just set up the two pads that you can see. Each of them are going to come with these ramps and the pads with the built-in carrying handles. Now also what we include is your interface cables. And then what we have here is your US M6 indicator. It will come with this briefcase as well. All right, so I'm gonna show you quickly how to set this up. So if you wanna come in over here real quick, I'll show you. We're gonna have channel one and it's going to connect and you'll use your locking nut here just to tighten it down in place. And then as you can see over here on the base, you have the other end that's going to connect right here as well. So one of the nice neat features about this system is you have to use the cables to run to each of the pads. And so what we've done is we built in channel measurements right here where the cable can run through so that you don't have to worry about the trucks running over your cables. So we're going to feed the cable through here to wire into the other side of the pad over here. All right, I'm going to show you quickly how to power it on. It's really simple. It's two buttons. We'll also include this stylus pen that you can use. It's a touch screen. So come on over here. I'll show you how to power it on. So first you're going to hit this power button here that says power, and then you're going to hit your on off button. So it's gonna go through the loading phase. And while we wait, let me tell you about a couple of things. We have a USB output here, RS-232. This is your built-in receipt printer so that you can track all your weight, date, and time and have a recorded weight once you get uh, your vehicle weight. Okay, so this is our smart weighing indicator. It's the USM6 that can be used for many of our different types of axle scales and truck scales. So as you can see right here, it's set up for the weigh in motion. Uh, we, we have the option for static pads. Here's your records to turn it off, data monitoring and settings. This would be for USB integration, RS-232, and that is your built-in receipt printer. Okay, so I'm gonna give you a quick demo on how to do this. So first I'm gonna start by assigning an ID number. So let's just call the truck, uh, you can put any name, let's just call it, uh, All right, so that's the name. We assigned it the uh, name truck. So now what we're going to do is uh, drive the vehicle across it. And as he drives across, you're gonna see the weight is going to be triggered. So now that we've rolled across, you can see what the axles were. You have axle A, axle two is B. So we're going to hit the end button. It's gonna give us our total weight of 5,190, and then we can hit the print button. And you can see here, get this in, this tells you what the speed was, the total weight, and the two axle weights. So very straightforward and easy to do.
And so here's a good example of this last video is that we can continue to weigh multiple axles. So after I hit that end feature, that's when I'll know to trigger this was a two axle, three axle, four axle. So if we kept driving straight across this, then it would continue to show more and more axle weights. So now that I've hit the end button, that triggers it to restart and then to go through and I can weigh the next vehicle. So two other things that I wanted to talk about in this video is the digital display. That actually uh, can operate off of its rechargeable battery. So if you don't have power and it's charged up, you can use this in any remote location. That's for mining applications, portable applications. You can store it in your truck and pull it out when you need it. Now, the other great thing too is in this video, I was the operator which was operating the digital display. But if you find that you don't have somebody to do that, that's okay. You can go into the settings and set it up to automatically trigger to uh, print a weight for each of the axles plus the gross weight once the vehicle has completely tra traveled across the scale. So that's also another option. So these in motion scales are great for really high traffic areas where you have to weigh lots of trucks very quickly. And as you can see, if you had to stop and weigh each axle, it's gonna take twice as long instead of just driving straight across the scale at five miles per hour, you're gonna be able to get your best accurate results and you're gonna be able to do it very, very quickly. So if you need one of these, give us a call today at 800-711-2237 or you can email us sales at usameasurements.com. Thanks for watching, guys.